Hey guys and welcome back to Battlefront updates. This week we finally got some kind of news regarding Battlefront. It's not much, but I want to make sure that I cover everything possible. The first piece of news isn't actually news, it's more of a speculation that I have after an interview posted last week by CVG. In this interview, Frank Gibault, the president of EA Labels, talked about the battle between Battlefield and Call of Duty, and when they got into talking about DICE game rotation, Frank said the following. The shooter rotation we think about now is Battlefield, Titanfall and Battlefront. And so we like those three brands going forward. This means that Battlefront isn't just a small side project of DICE, but in fact a game that they are implementing into their rotation. This could also potentially mean that we will be seeing a fourth Battlefront game if the third one goes well, which I have no doubt it will with DICE as the producers. The second news I have is regarding second screen gaming, because in an interview with Polygon, Patrick Södlund talked about how second screen gaming is becoming more and more relevant to upcoming games, and how they have previously tried to implement it in other games. He then says that this is one of the first things that their game guys design when they start looking at Star Wars Battlefront, which is going through design right now. I think this is great news as it shows that they are really looking to create a revolutionary game of Battlefront and apply new technology to it. However, I really hope that they won't make the game require two screens to get all features, but that the second screen would simply make it easier for people to play the game. Let's say that you want more free space on your screen and then you will have the possibility to move over the minimap and chat to the second screen. This would make it a lot easier but still let people with one screen play it like they want to. This could potentially also be applied to mobile phones or pads for people who play on consoles like you mentioned in the interview. And as always you can find both of these articles in the description below. That was all I had for today, make sure to check out my giveaway if you haven't already. I will be drawing the winners in a few days from now so stay tuned for that video as well. And until the next time guys, may the force be with you.